Hi everybody, it's RGBs here, and today we've got something really, really cool. Okay, so we're here in my amplified world. This is like my default amplified world. And here, let me turn up the uh, render distance here just a little bit, just so you can kind of get a sense of, <clears throat> you know, how big this place is, right? Big, big, big place. And it's awesome here, right? Um, <clears throat> however, if you look around, this is not the best place to start. Uh, in this world. Um, you start on a really high mountain, really high drop, uh, not optimal by any stretch of the imagination. However, in this new snapshot version, this is probably the first snapshot version I've ever done, um, <clears throat> there's something new, something cool. Let me show you. Under the transport tab is the El <clears throat> Elytra? Elytra? I have no idea how to say it. Um, but under this tab, if you put this, uh, this there, uh, Elytra on your armor, your chest place, your chest plate position, you actually get, oh my gosh, wings, right? And that's pretty awesome. You know, it's like a cape, it replaces the cape, but check this out. You, we are flying. Well, gliding. But it's like flying, right? This is awesome. This is going to do such interesting, fascinating things, I think, for Minecraft. Now it looks like, as near as I can tell, it is somewhat entropic in that once you go down, you can never get as back up as you otherwise would. However, that being said, I mean, this is pretty cool. Now, as I understand it, woohoo! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, diving is still lethal, right? Oh, look at oh, oh my gosh! Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Um, you know, so if you're if you're heading towards the ground really fast, you you know, diving on the ground, you're gonna basically go splat. But <clears throat> maybe I should try this. I think I'll, I think what we'll do is we'll go <clears throat> back up to the top of the mountain here and try this. If you are coasting along the ground, you should be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to the top here. I'm going to test that feature because to me that's one of the cooler features. I want to I want to experiment with that um, and see if that works. And now I I personally feel like this is a lot easier. Um, well, you know what? We'll see if this is easier in uh, first person or not. Game. I'm so excited. I can't even type. All right. <clears throat> Game mode zero. No armor, obviously. I'm just going to go into first person mode and just try this. Alright, and we'll just go down and around. Look at that. Ha ha. We'll just try and land. Alright. Ha ha. And boom. Oh, okay, so if you hit a wall, it's no problem. That's good to know. To know, so let's try this again. <clears throat> I'm just digging this, <clears throat> and it's it seems to be actually faster than I think flying around in creative mode, or at least it feels that way. So this is going to be impressive. Now, one concern I have is loading chunks as you go, right? So. <clears throat> I'll just try not to die here. Actually, no. If we're going to do this, we're going to die. Huh. <sighs> so pretty. So worth it. See, yeah, you'll notice that like we're kind of almost outpacing the chunk, so it makes it a little hard to steer. So I think this is going to be really good and useful for zoom chunks that you know are loaded. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to keep experimenting with this. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome video um, just to make. So, hey, if you like this episode, leave a like. If you want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I would love to hear your, com your, hear your comments, and I'd love to be in your inbox on a regular basis. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> <sighs> Bye! <laughs>